This senior class has set a new standard of winning over the last four seasons as they have won 91 games entering tonight. Two regular season MAC championship, two MAC tournament titles to date, and two NCAA tournament appearances with a third on the horizon. This year, this class has helped Buffalo be ranked nationally for the first time in program history, a distinction they have now carried for a Mid-American Conference record 17 straight weeks. Over the last two seasons, this group has won 55 games, the most ever in a two-year period in MAC history. Please join head coach Nate Oates and athletic director Mark Allnut for tonight's senior day ceremony, as well as a special net cutting ceremony to celebrate this championship season. First, we have number one, Montel McCray, a native of Cleveland, Ohio. Montel has played in 66 games over the last two seasons after transferring in from South Plains Junior College. Montel has started every game for the Bulls this season, where he has set career highs in both scoring and rebounding. He scored in double figures six times this season, including a career high 18 points at Eastern Michigan to open league play. Twice this season, Montel has hit three three-pointers in a game, and he had a career high 10 rebounds earlier this year in the first round of the Belfast Classic against Milwaukee. On the defensive end, Montel is known to take charge, and none are more famous than the one he took in the second half of the NCAA tournament first round win over Arizona. Montel will graduate with a degree in health and human services. He is joined today by his mother, Monica, uncles Keith McRae, Sylvester McRae, and Vaughn Johnson, Auntie Tamika Candy, and cousins Jonathan, Keith, Sean, and Maurice. Ladies and gentlemen, Montel McRae. Next, we have number two, Jeremy Harris. One of the most dynamic three-point shooters in the nation. Jeremy has spent the last two seasons with Buffalo after transferring from Gulf Coast State. Last season, Jeremy was a second team All-Mac selection and a three-time Mac East Player of the Week honoree. He had a number of memorable games, but it was his performance in March that will keep him in the minds of Bulls fans forever. After a pair of 20-point games in Cleveland, Harris introduced himself to the nation in the first round of the NCAA tournament with 23 points and seven rebounds against the NBA's number one pick, DeAndre Ayton. This year, Jeremy is third. This year, Jeremy is third on the team in scoring, capped off on a career performance in the second game of the conference season with 34 points in a 110-80 victory over Toledo. 18 times, Jeremy has scored in double figures, including surpassing the 20-point mark five times in just two seasons. Harris is on the cusp of reaching the 1,000-point scoring mark in, in a Buffalo uniform, something achieved by just 21 people in the history of the UB men's basketball program. <laughs> Jeremy will graduate with a degree in health and human services. He is joined today by his mother, Nancy Griffith, and his uncle, Wesley Lewis. Next up is number 22, Dante Carruthers. The Rochester, New York native and 2017 Mid-American Conference Player of the Year, Dante has spent three seasons as a member of the Bulls after beginning his collegiate career in Midland Jun Junior College and Indian Hills Junior College. Despite dealing with injuries throughout his career, Dante has had his best season in a UB uniform this year, setting career highs in scoring and rebounding. This season alone, Dante has hit the 20-point mark four times entering tonight's game, including a career-best 28 points at Bowling Green. During his 2017 season, Dante led the Bulls with 58 steals as he became the first UB player ever to be named the Max Defensive Player of the Year. As a junior, Dante had a number of strong offensive games, including 23-point efforts twice against UAB and Niagara 
In addition to his four 20-point efforts this season, he has reached double figures 11 times, including a stretch of six straight games in double figures. He has also set a career high in assists this year, including five or more assists seven times. Dante has already graduated with his undergraduate degree and is continuing pursuing a master's in education studies. He is joined today by his mother, Lorthea, his dad, Donnell Sr., his pops, TJ Buckner, and his brothers, Brandon, Donnell, Christopher, and Shamir. Next is number 33, Nick Perkins. The greatest sixth man in the history of the Mid-American Conference. Nick is UB's all-time leader in games played at 134. He has twice been named the max sixth man of the year with an anticipated third time coming in the near future. Last season, Nick was also named an all mac first team selection and he is currently sixth on UB's all-time scoring list. Nick is just one of four players in the history of UB men's basketball program with over 1,500 career points and 700 career rebounds. He recently went over 800 rebounds for his career, which is fifth all time. And tonight, he surpassed the 1,700 point mark for his career. Nick is also third in school history for career field goals made and field goals attempted. As a freshman, Nick scored 20 points in the NCAA tournament against Miami, the first UB freshman ever to score 20 points in the NCAA tournament. In just the last two seasons alone, Nick has scored over 1,000 points, as last season he averaged 16.2 points per game, including a stretch of 25 straight games, scoring in double figures. Nick averaged 18.2 points in MAC play and had 13 points and three triples in the win over Arizona. This season, Nick has scored 20 or more points nine times, including a career-high 27 points in Buffalo's win over Kent State, part of a stretch where he scored 25 or more points in three of four games. Nick is the team's leading rebounder this season and will go down as one of the best big men in the history of UB basketball. Nick is graduating with a degree in health and human services. He is joined tonight by his mother, Judith Coleman, sisters B. Perkins, and Melanie Coleman, brothers Mike Tyson, Chris Coleman, and Andre Gardet, and his niece, Layla Tyson. Finally, we have number five, C.J. Massenberg. The Dallas, Texas native will leave Buffalo as one of the greatest players to ever wear the blue and white. Tonight, C.J. moved into second place on UB's all-time scoring list, and he is eyeing the all-time scoring record during Buffalo's postseason run. C.J. is one of only three active players in the entire nation with 1,900 points, 700 rebounds, 300 assists, and 100 steals in his career, which spans over 125 games. The first team All-Max selection a year ago, C.J. introduced himself to the rest of the nation in the season opener when he scored 43 points in an overtime victory at then 13th ranked West Virginia, the most points ever scored by a Buffalo player on the road. C.J. added 25 points in UB's win over Syracuse, the first ever for Buffalo inside the Carrier Dome. An all-MAC freshman team selection in 2015-16, CJ had a number of memorable moments during his first season with the Bulls, including 36 points in a game against Ohio and a highlight reel block of NBA lottery pick Brandon Ingram during UB's trip to Cameron Indoor Stadium to face Duke. He was a Mid-American Conference all-tournament selection, scoring a game-high 18 points in the conference championship over Akron, sending the Bulls to the NCAA Tournament. In last season's NCAA Tournament, CJ had 19 points in the win over Arizona and added 18 points in the NCAA round of 32 game against Kentucky. He finished last year tied for the single season scoring record with 611 points. 
This year, CJ has scored in double figures in all but one game, adding a 31-point performance to his resume in a win over Eastern Michigan. In addition to climbing to second on UB's scoring list, CJ is 17th in the history of the Mid-American Conference in scoring. He is second in school history in both three-pointers made and attempted. CJ will graduate with a degree in sociology and is joined today by his parents, Russell and Karen Massenberg, his brother, Russell Jr., his sister, India, and his sister-in-law, Rainice, as well as his Buffalo parents, Robert and Chelsea White, and his girlfriend, Layla White. Fans, let's hear it one more time for Montel, Jeremy, Dante, Nick, and CJ, and help us in thanking them for leading the Bulls to the 2019 MAC regular season title and the best season in school history to date at 28 and three. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm now turning the mic over to the five seniors as they will be speaking to you. Ladies and gentlemen, the five seniors of this year's graduating class of the UB Bulls. serious note. I just want to thank all you guys for accepting me in. Um, I'm a guy from Dallas, Texas that, that, you know, I didn't have a lot on my plate when it came to the college decision and um, I want to thank the coaches for taking a chance on me. Uh, I got here, I didn't know if I was going to play. I planned on red shirting, but look at us now, y'all. <laughs> look at us now. <laughs> look at us now. <laughs> nah, I, I, just, I just can't thank y'all enough for all the love and support that y'all give us. Y'all go with us everywhere we go. And I, I appreciate my teammates. And this has been an unbelievable college career. I love the city of Buffalo. Go Bulls! doing tonight I just want to say I, I, I just want to say thanks for accepting me these last two years it's been nothing but fun these last two years when I first committed to Buffalo I had everybody ask me why Buffalo you from North Carolina it's so cold up there look at me now look at me now hey no nah, I don't really got too much to say I just want to say thank y'all for accepting me thank y'all man who next Uh, dang, came to an 
but um, just to add on top of what, the, what uh, these guys said, um, it's been a great three years. Um, Y'all took me in like a, like, a, like a family member here. Um, you guys give me all the energy to play defense the way I do. And uh, <laughs> talk to talk stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, just to add on, I just want to say thank you. And I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart being a guy from Rochester. Um, Y'all been so good to me. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad. And uh, dang, y'all gonna make me cry up here. But I'm gonna just say thank you once again. I love you all. And this, is the la this will not be the last time y'all see my face. Look what we got now. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Buffalo, um, I want to thank you, man, for taking me in. I came in as a, a fat 18-year-old who could kind of shoot threes with a little bit of post game. And uh, y'all turned me into a monster, and I, I appreciate Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. I appreciate y'all for taking me in. Um, the love y'all show is... It's unbelievable, you know. My freshman year, you know, we had some decent fans, and the love y'all shown over these last two years has been, been ridiculous and, and supporting us, and we really appreciate that. And uh, I want to say go Bulls. I love all of you. And, uh, hey, March Man is here, baby. We're going to make some shake. Let's do it. I just wanted to say um, thank y'all. Uh, y'all did a lot for me. Uh, really matured me. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I appreciate it uh, for taking me in these last two years. And it's been a great run with these guys. And, uh, uh, and I love you. Oh, thank you. Hey, listen, I want to say thanks to all you for sticking around. Thank you to all you that have sold this place out even in January with no students. Thank you for accepting these five seniors. These five seniors have completely turned Buffalo basketball into something nobody thought it would be ever. So uh, we, Montel and Jeremy have been here two years. We got Cleveland and Greensboro kid that you guys have accepted and really made our own here in Buffalo. And, and we wouldn't be where we're at without these two. They're, 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 they're such good kids, but I'm so proud of Montel. His family was able to make it, and he gives us the nice tip dunks and hits big threes when we need them, and hits them in against Arizona, and he just, he's always there for us. Jeremy, best thing we got going, he torched DeAndre Ayton, so Ayton might have been the number one pick, but he couldn't guard Jeremy Harris last year. So, look, Jer we, we're going to call Jeremy Mr. March. He gets his game going in March, so he's, he's he got it going tonight. He'll be getting it going in Cleveland, where you can all come down and see him in Cleveland. And, those two have been with us two years. It's been the best two years in Buffalo basketball history. Carruthers, this whole blue collar thing we got going, that's Dante Carruthers. That's him right here. He's diving all over the floor for loose balls, taking charges, getting all you guys fired up in the crowd. Like uh, we, we love Dante. It's great. He's from right down the road in Rochester. We get the whole city of Rochester here for games, and they were all with him here. So. Wait, that, that's him. Now, these other two have been with us four years. I've, I've been head coach for four years. Nick and CJ have been with me from day one. So I, I've known Nick from, shoot, ninth grade. I, I back in Detroit. I, I knew him as a freshman in high school. He's come a long, long ways. And I, nobody ever thought he was going to be doing what he's doing. He's one of the best big men in the country. You guys have had the privilege in Buffalo of watching literally one of the best big men in the country play in front of you guys for four years. He showed it tonight when we needed it. He was a monster. He hits big threes, gets big and ones, big dunks. He does everything. There's nothing he can't really do. And it, to go the four years with him has been incredible. And then CJ came all the way up from Dallas. I was just reminiscing with our team yesterday. This kid was almost begging us as a staff to take him. He only had one scholarship offer coming out of high school. I still can't believe it. Sometimes. God grants you some 
very good luck in life. And the fact that we were able to get him up here to Buffalo, I, I, I'm a very fortunate coach. So this kid, he, he's Buffalo basketball over the last four years. He's the highest character kid you're going to meet. It, you know, he's a great kid. You see this, the video go viral, him picking up water bottles. He cleans up trash. That's the definition of servant leadership. He also happens to be a really good basketball player. <laughs> Got into the second, uh, scored the second most points ever behind Rasan. It was great Rasan was here tonight to uh, cheer him on too. So shout out to Rasan Young. It's great to have the alumni come back. We've had a lot of alumni. Listen, we're in Cleveland next weekend. These you guys have embraced these five seniors. It's been great. We love you here in Buffalo. We, we need Buffalo to show up in Cleveland like you've never showed up before. So. We're on, we're on a mission to win another championship and get played in the in-state tournament, make a run. Let's get the entire city of Buffalo behind us. Go Bulls!